Hello, it's me again. Um, yes, I just wanted to make a couple more videos um, because I see that some of the videos I'd, I'd made have failed to upload um, on the previous website and I, I think they're important. Um, the first one I made some time ago now was about countries. Now, this may sound, in fact, you know, apparently um, it was complained to the doctor by the nursing staff that um, shortly after I came in, a few days after I came in, I was, you know, really quite ardently trying to, I'd read in this book that there are 200 countries and like I can only think of like America, China and England and a few places in Europe and Australia maybe, you know, I, and I couldn't believe that there are 200 countries that after 10 years in higher education basically I have no idea about um, and it was appalling to me that a whole country could be missing from my consciousness that's one sole country could be miss missing from my consciousness but not only one but probably about 120 are missing from my consciousness and I started compiling a list and um, trying to get as a game and as something to unite us all the other patients to take an interest in sort of listing all the countries they could think of um, now unfortunately the, the staff seemed to take umbrage at this um, but one of them, I think she thought she was being helpful, printed me out a list. But then, of course, it stopped the game and, uh, you know, the, the interest that I hoped at that time um, would be generated. I mean, when I first came in, I was taking an interest in the other patients. But I've been told recently, uh, well, when, when it was um, the um, tribunal time I was told that I was interfering in other pa pa patients care as though that was something really bad um, and since then I've withdrawn completely from any involvement with any of the other patients really um, sadly um, because I've decided to be completely selfish and I was so appalled that they should feel that I was interfering in some bad way when actually I was trying to help that I, I took and bridge myself um, but anyway yes these actually um, according to this list I think there's 196 countries in the world now what, what really I, I really think that the education is appalling in this country if students who are at secondary school don't learn this in the first three years of secondary school and um, I'd like you to suggest if you're interested um, some kind of I, I don't know whether it's called mnemonic or memnonic I call it memnonic um, you know one of those things where you you basically would have a sentence it would have to be a sentence or a paragraph even to involve um, 196 letters but some way of trying to remember all the countries in the world um, I know that these have changed through um, political uprisings and um, just general change um, over the years um, but still, I, I do think that it's not something that changes every minute and that really um, when students are being encouraged to be in, interested in physics, for example, and they don't even know the countries of the world, then there's something wrong. And as I say, I've been in higher education for 10 years or more myself and I have, you know, have sadly lack knowledge of all the countries so you can um like you know it, it is difficult for me to um get on the web to kind of make this 
happen. It would be difficult to list all of these um, in written form. So I can tell you, um, you can find it at list of countries of the world in alphabetical order. Um, that's at www.countries hyphen of the all one word hyphen world dot com forward slash all hyphen countries dot html <coughs> and this is the list of all the countries there's 196 and you know if someone could get together some kind of easy way um, maybe you could f make suggestions maybe there will be some suggestions that are more palatable and um, more suitable for remembering them all than others and um, it would be great to kind of provide that service if you could and find a way of uh, kind of re helping us remember all the countries of the world um, you know, as I say, I really think it's very important um, that these are taught in schools and that this kind of thing is done. And um, that awareness, I mean, you know, there's people talking about climate change and stuff, but if people aren't aware, even aware of which countries exist, I mean, to forget about a whole country is... It actually it feels tantamount to a sin in my mind to actually not acknowledge a whole country. Um, so, you know, before this is without delving into any of the history of all of these countries or anything or any of the particular geography, but just even the names of all the countries would be so useful and, and be such a a door opener and window opener for everybody to realize like space is vast but actually the planet is probably vaster than we're realizing and um, it will teach us perhaps to be a little less self-obsessed with the, the superpowers and more acknowledging of individuality and difference and um, you know, I, I, I think it's really important that, that we do that. And I just thought I'd make this video again and hopefully I'll be able to download this tomorrow to remind you of, of that. Okay then, bye for now. Bye.